everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. In a bit of a worrying thing, uh, Kotoka has not shown up for four months. This is worrying because... Uh, it may mean that the situation that she was trying to recover from, which was a mental uh, breakdown, pretty much. It was her doctor had told her, her therapist had told her that they needed to take a break. Uh, it was affecting her mental health way too much. So the break needed to happen. And that is a worrying thing because Nidhi Sanji, at least until recently, has not had any kind of help for any kind of mental issues that anyone may have, any mental health things that anyone may have. So this can be a bad thing for Kotoka. And it says, uh, last stream she did before going on a mostly radio silent. The only recent activity I remember seeing was a single reply to retweet Nidhi Sandy's NBA thing. Uh, license collab, which I believe she was still a part of. Uh, his last stream was a member stream on 18th of February. So yeah, the February thing was the last time anyone saw anything from her. So it was not... It's not going well, but hopefully I'm hoping the best for Kotaka. I'm hoping that things pick up and I'm hoping that she is well. One number that a lot of people are looking for and a lot of people are interested in is the number of, you know, how any color is doing in the stock market. They paid 7.5 billion yen for stock buyback, about $48 million. Uh, they stopped while covers kept going. Uh, they basically petered out. They went up, of course. They went up from like, I think it was 2000 before to 2864. So that's a humongous gain because they did stock buyback. People were trying to make, you know, money off of the stock buyback and things like that. And cover is, you know, it went up sharply in the morning, went back down, and it's kind of staying around the 1900 mark. But cover hasn't ever been really like super duper strong. Like, you know, any color, any color has been like up to 3,800, 4,000 around there. Uh, covers usually stayed around this 1900 maybe 2000 range so this isn't too crazy for cover itself just another comparison between the two companies they hit a cap the current sub 3k value the price of the stock can only move by 500 yen in a single day either up or down uh, i see a volatility halt yes uh the market has halts for volatility so they can't raise up too high or too low based on the uh the level that they're at so even cover even if it had a really good day, it could not go up above like maybe 300, 300, 400 points at once. Same thing with with uh, with any color. They hit a cap that the market puts so that there's no just like I, I either panic buying or panic selling or any of that kind of stuff. You just it prevents volatility, prevents things from being weird. Uh, 8.9 billion yen in quarter four and they burned 7.5 billion yen to pump their stocks up. It just looks like they haven't learned anything what happens the last time they did a buyback to make investors happy. Meanwhile, Cover used their profits to make their businesses grow. That's a big difference between both of them, honestly. Here's a real quick thing in regards to any color and cover financials put together. A lot of people wanted to see that. They were asking for that from me to see both 2024 and quarter 2024 of, you know, both of them. It is basically the revenue in comparison of 87 billion 8.7 billion on any color and 10.9 billion on cover promotion is 1.6 billion and 2.1 billion respectively despite licensing collaborations event is 831 versus 2985 and just reminder of this one it is the revenue that they're getting uh this commerce is 5000 and 4000 so merchandising they uh, you know Nidhi Sanji is more pushing toward merchandising. Live streaming, Nidhi Sanji is getting less than Hololive. And remember, this is with Hololive and Cover having half of the uh, talents that uh, Nidhi Sanji has, both in EN and JP. They have way less than EN and JP, and both together combined, than uh, Nidhi Sanji. And they're still keeping up and in many times beating them with a lot of the revenue that they're getting. Now, these are the costs. These are things, the expenses, that they, the things that they spend. The revenue was that, and the costs were higher on cover because if you remember correctly, cover does like spending on its talents. Performer remuneration, which this what, what this means is that this is a base salary that cover pays and Nidhi Sanji doesn't. Base salary that cover pays to every single one of their talents. So they get a base salary. Then above that, they get, you know, what, uh, you know, YouTube gives them, but their remuneration specifically is just for the base salary, if I'm not mistaken. Direct variable cost, they have 39.11, they just put everything together. 2060 is the event. Employer related, they're not putting it in there, but outsourcing is 473. And other, as I'm guessing, that's where uh, cover puts its employer related and other costs are 2054 uh, millions in the millions of yen. So it's 4.225 gross profit of billions of yen for uh, Nidhi Sanji versus 4.8 billion yen in uh, cover. We're having the revenue here again in the cover one, the 
cost of sales, the gross profit, the SGNA, which means these are all the other extra costs, personnel, warehouse, other that um, that Nidhi Sanji versus uh, Cover do. So Cover spent more on personnel, on warehousing, and on other expenses than Nidhi Sanji did, as you can see here. They still had close to the same operating, they had, they had a, a 1 billion yen less operating profit because they want to spend more. Because remember, in the quarter four, Cover said that they were going to be spending more in the short term to make long-term gains and long-term you know, benefits. And they also said that they're not going to stop giving that base salary to their talents. Yago himself said that. VTubers, uh, 85 versus 158. Well, a little bit less than half, I guess. It's um, a little bit more than half, I mean. Uh, employees, 430 versus 509. So they have more employees that are not VTuber related uh, than uh, Nidhi Sanji has. So per VTuber, they have more employees. That's the thing. Per VTuber, they have more employees. Corporate is 14% back office, 11% metaverse, 19% management, 21% uh, sales, and 35% um, content creation, infrastructure, etc. So they go on percentages versus actual full numbers on any color side. So that can be seen either way. And finally, here's everything put together. So you can take a good look at everything there. I'm going to leave it there for a couple seconds. So you can pause, take a look at it, and take a look at everything together. And that's what we have when it comes to all these. And that's basically the big takeaway is cover spends more in the short term to make more in the long term. They have a uh, base salary for every single VTuber, Hollow Stars, anyone else. They have a base salary in comparison to Nidhi Sanji, which the only salary they get are the income that they get from uh, Super Chats, donations, uh, merchandise, and those types of things. So it's kind of better to be a VTuber in cover side when it comes to money, at least. A little bit on the numbers, Mason. These are the things that are happening with the promotions, 123, 158, 562, et cetera, with event commerce live streaming. I covered this yesterday a bit, uh, but this is the comparison that I did not cover uh, because I did not have those numbers. But here's someone who basically put them all on the same page. On the left, the left half is all Niji Sanji JP when it comes to promotion, event, commerce, live streaming, and Niji Sanji EN which was never a large number for them. Apparently it's like uh, JP can go sometimes all, almost four or five times more. So it wasn't ever something huge for them. It's something that uh, it is good to look at though. There's a reason they never put both branches on the same Y axis angle. Uh, they both say that the EN side is really a major source of revenue. Aren't wrong. It's basically a downward trend has happened with EN after, you know, Selen leaving and they never were really a large group to, uh, you know, like, 30, 40% or anything more like that in regards to what they do for the organization. So they that's why they never put it on anything that was like a Y-axis, the same thing. Looking at Hollow for comparison, but they don't appear to release what percentage of their business Hollow Yen is. Probably smart to, to do that. Uh, realize that Niji Yen never had any events prior to quarter four. Uh, basically, yeah, Niji Sanji did not put any events for uh, Yen until quarter four, pretty much. So the commerce revenue is the big one with, you know, um, the actual... Uh, voice packs and other merchandise and things like that but the events were never a really big part of EN which is why they are seeing the way that they're going and it's it also shows that Japan loves buying merch EN maybe not so much so that's another thing that may be hurting them interesting question that of course a lot of people want answered if there is a negative a person with negative stuff graduating I think honestly they're going to be abandoned by the VTuber community overall uh, basically, if someone like Vox graduates, if someone like Illyra graduates, unless they do an apology, unless they're like, you know what, I was under a lot of pressure in Hollywood or, you know, like what, what Matara does saying Hollywood or saying heaven or saying whatever in my home world, whatever you want to call it. They're saying I have a lot of I had a lot of stress. I had a lot of pressure put on me by the higher ups, you know, that kind of thing. And I'm sorry for everything that happened in the past, you know, in my in my home world, in my past life, etc. Without directly mentioning Niti Sanji. You could say that and maybe things will go well, but for the most part, you have to do something like that in order for things to go well at all. People have done so much before and people still tune and watch even the worst kinds of things. It was a given, so they'll move, they're more likely to be fine. Plus knowing how spaces work, since they're no longer in the said evil brand, they'd probably be a bit more forgiving. Though it can also go south, given while people here could be civil, can imagine the amount of comments they'd get on a daily, apologize to Doki, apologize to this person, apologize to that person. So they're definitely gonna get that. If I was one of those talents getting out, assuming it's not a termination, of course, I'd probably be profusely apologizing during the graduation stream. Hope it gets clipped and then, you know, get spread out. That's pretty much, that's what you want. You want apology on a, on a graduation stream or apology since you're already getting out. You can apologize in the graduation stream and then hope the clip gets out. And then, you know, hopefully it helps you in the future. But that is something that will also be left 
to just people out there. I believe this myself from things I have seen. I think they're keeping Niji EN alive because uh, they want to drop the stock later before a third buyback. Also because they do not want to be seen as a large corporation that they are by investors as closing up a market. They don't want to be so seen as closing another market, a huge market, which is the AEN market overall, which includes Europe and all the English speaking countries in the West. They do not want to see that be closed. That is my take on this whole thing. They will not abandon fully EN, but they're going to leave them to their own devices. They're not really going to be doing much of management. They're going to be doing what they can to kind of make it seem like they're trying to keep it afloat, but not do an entire like humongous amount of stuff. You know what I mean? They already wasted a ton of money on the first buyback last year. Uh, now they're all the controversy, the stock buyback drop, all that kind of stuff. They're pretty much going to be keeping this afloat just to keep uh, the, the optics doing good, like the outside, people looking outside in. Despite many have speculated, I think they're dropping, I don't think they're dropping the branch. Riku knows quarter one 2024 isn't going to look good. This year's quarter one, which is technically quarter one 2025, because the, the fiscal year ends in 2025, if I'm not mistaken. So, I mean, it seems from various sources that they want to do just fully give up on the end branch, just giving them maybe concerts and maybe things here occasionally, but not putting the huge amount of support that they've been doing for other branches, for the JP branch, mainly. It doesn't make any sense if you want to close a company, if you want to make it unpopular, short term, costly decisions that benefit the long-term health like yeah uh but like i said i think that's the main thing they're just not going to do it because of the fact it would look very very bad on them another uh issue that is popping up here unfortunately some people false flag uh completely new accounts sucking each other off clearly they are new to the fandom not to mention the bloody ats being the same style as may synchronites don't pity them at the cry crocodile tears saying good morning twitter oh my god i just started this account yesterday and i already have nine followers thank you so much i feel welcome to the community already uh sinachu Thank you, Jade. You're welcome, Cinna. There, it looks like it's a false flag operation. That's what they're saying. May, she was the first false flagger going after us. Ah, the Noir Nura person. I effed around and found out, I guess. I may make a new one later. So it, she's she's making, they are making new things to attack the Synchronites, to attack Cyosynchronicity's uh, community, to attack people there. That's never good. You don't attack the communities. You, If the library's done something, yes, you criticize them. But don't attack them. Don't bully. Don't send this kind of stuff to other people. I told you someone to track you down. I almost forgot about them. But yeah, why are they still doing this? A lot of us already moved on. But apparently and obviously, a lot of these people can't move on, which is unfortunate because that can breed anger. It can breed hatred. It can breed all these negative thoughts that you do not want to put in your life. And of course, I try not to bring those into the community either. Learn her secrets now in honor of Doki surpassing her previous tier. Corpos hate her. She gained over 600k subs as an indie VTuber. Learn how to beat this one trick. It basically, basically it's like, doctors hate this one trick. In this case, Niji Sanji hates this one trick. Uh, next, we have, of course, Anime Expo having uh, Doki's birthday. And, of course, it's right there, height right next to Niji EN. It's, it's her, their own form of revenge, I guess. They put everyone together in the same area, of course, because they put it based on, I think, um, industry. So basically industry is in one place, that type of thing. So they're putting all them together, but it's just, it's lovely happenstance, lovely karma that they're doing that now. That Heights birthday party for Doki is going to be right next to Nidhi Sanji. And here we go. Plan to focus more on Nidhi Sanji in Japan, Nidhi Sanji EN. And Nidhi Riku Tazumi is like saying, you know, peace. It's that, it's that meme, but peace to the uh, Nidhi Sanji EN. Cause yeah, they're pretty much in the one foot in the grave right now, at least. This one is a Pochi Sensei made an illustration about mysterious disappearances. It says right here. They said they've contributed support the illustration of the, of the anime Kai no Otome to Otome Spirited Away based on original work by Nijima. I drew expecting people to say that outfit is a bit and it was prepared for corrections, but have approved as is. I wonder if that was okay. Not going to show all of it because, of course, you can see Booba. You can see that there's Booba, so I'm not going to show too much of it. This is just a little bit on the Pochi Sensei side. Let's see what they have on their actual one here and what people are saying. People down here are saying, thank you so much for su such a beautiful illustration, Pochi Sensei. Uh, for me, based on the manga, this outfit looks fine, gorgeous. It looks really good. Sasaga Pochi Sensei. Amazing work as always. People are saying down here. Um, what? The work I was intended to be made in anime? My favorite illustrator drew a supportive illustration. All good stuff. People are having lots of fun. They're enjoying it. It's a little bit of navel there. You're enjoying it, but you know, it's it, it is what it is and it's good stuff. A big congratulations to ZYAVT, Zaya. I don't know exactly how to say it. Maybe it's Zaya, it's Zaya. Uh, started uploading content like two months ago and in the last month I saw such growth. YouTube, thank you so much for keeping me motivated and posting more. A hundred is a huge milestone. The first hundred is super hard to get to on YouTube when you start out because you have a lot of people who are, well, to be honest with you, there are way too many people out there who want to knock you down. Way too many people out there who are trying to do things to uh, stunt your growth. 
and it is it is a good way to keep yourself uh planted firmly in the ground to be happy for every single little bit of growth you have every single little bro bit that that pops up big congratulations to the small vtuber who is going to be a big thing uh their youtube is right here and um let's go and take a look at it 177 subscribers very nice this was they're, they're having a lot of growth this was 14 hours ago and in 14 hours she got 7, 77 subscribers she almost doubled it she's doing a lot of shorts which does get you a lot of these things some reaction stuff i'm not gonna actually play that some reaction stuff girlfriend find she has asmr there uh you know she's doing buckshot roulette doing a lot of different things trying to find their space and i'm very very happy and i will support them very happy um, in fact i'm gonna give them another subscribe themselves now they have 178 congratulations this is kind of funny but this does happen occasionally um that you have uh especially on hololive cover side people doing uh screenings or even interviews with uh either stars or anything like that she was invited in this one hachama themselves was invited to a preview screening for the new bad boys the new bad boys ride or die when to see it the action was great and it was fun bad boys bad boys hachama of course probably destroyed the theater will smith and martin lawrence interview when that would be so much fun i don't want will smith to slap hachama oh god yeah because will smith with this with the slaps that was a slap heard around the entertainment industry. Holy crap. And it says it's ride or die right here. She's saying the thing is in bad. And you know, she went there. Uh, this person is asking uh, specifically. This great. It's been a while since the last sequel. So I wanted to see it at the cinema. And Hachama even says right now as a response. Great action at the cinema. Okay. So basically recommending it to them. After all, the excitement of a movie theater is overwhelming. So just going back to Hachama's thing. A lot of people are like, lucky you. The action looks insane in the trailer. Nice, I still want to see this. My plan to see it last weekend fell through. So uh, now I want to see Martin Lawrence Hachama version of Jared Leto Fubuki interview. Oh, that would be interesting. Yeah, because Fubuki did a Jared Leto interview. Uh, it was a thing. So they did do that. And that is, uh, that was, that was an experience. Because Jared Leto was confused as to why he was, you know, getting a VTuber. But still, they tried their best. They did their, they did what they needed to do. And Hachama has this big win. Surprise, it wasn't Miko. Hopefully something funny comes out of this. She was also invited yesterday to see Watchers. She's on a roll with these movie promotions. A Hachama interview with Will Smith. That'd be hilarious. That's what people are saying. And yes, congratulations to Hachama. If you all remember correctly, we have uh, Hila Kurayami, who is the person who was uh, in a the shed that they had their stuff in, was in a fire, and uh, says, thank you for all the support. I'm going to try to sleep and salvage everything. They're going to try and see how everything is. It's safe. They're, they were safe because they were in the restroom. The shed was kind of on fire, but they are fine. Uh, in the they're gonna have it in the background of the streams. They're gonna have Mama Yami in the background of the streams because they're gonna be doing it inside the house now. They had a shed for their streaming. Now they're doing it. They're salvaging things. The things that uh, the parents are trying to figure out if the insurance is gonna cover it, but since it's an outbuilding, it's not part of the house. A lot of times it doesn't cover it. Uh, going to try to keep you guys updated on what can be done so far. Headphones are melted. Keyboard was melted. Portrait monitors is smoke damage, but not turning on. And the desk was melted. So those are the things they couldn't say, but I think the actual PC case, the actual PC thing got some smoke damage. But other than that, things to be fine. Right here, they're having, you know, all this, the, the, the updates. They had people to asking them if they're going to be doing a throne link to, you know, nudge people to try to, you know, help them out. Because it is very hard to get a computer. My computer is several years old by now. And it is, you know, I can't update it because I don't have the money to. And I can definitely understand that, especially when you're living paycheck to paycheck day to day. You're living with family to make things cheaper for yourself. It is very, very hard. I'm in the same situation where I, you know, paycheck to paycheck, day to day, sometimes not even barely paycheck, you know, that kind of stuff. It's really hard. So they have a throne here and it's, she says, please take care of yourself first. And if you could, you know, donate to this. This was uh, 1034 a.m. today. Please, absolutely no obligation to do this. Uh, they've been showered with so much attention and so much love in these past 24 hours that they feel, you know, they feel just that is enough. But people did. People came in. People were G's. They did amazing. And they did everything to support them. And it says, seriously, Rock, thank you so much. And of course, they had the, this is fine. You know, this is all fine. This is all doing fine. And they're in fire right there in the back. Probably what ended up happening. A little bit of a meme. You got to love it. I love it. Next, we have React, which is the group that had a, a uh, specific explosive threat to one of their uh, livers concerts the threat is still going on the threat still happened they're saying about ticket refunds if you don't want to if you want to withdraw from it they'll be giving refunds instructions below uh they've already had the fastest serial number tickets available refund instructions will be sent via email if not then you just follow the instructions 
for applying for membership advance tickets. You receive a winning notification. Please do not make any payments. If you don't want to go, don't make payments. They're sending more information here about on-site merchandise sales. They're saying that there will be some on-site merchandise sales. It'll only be sold at the venue entrance. It'll only be sold before the actual concert happens, not after. You will be provided one, one, uh, one drink if, you know, you can only buy up to one drink from what I know. As it's saying here, over here, identity verification as well. You have a bag check. You have prevent your ticket page. You get the phone number. If you have people who are coming with you that they gave separate tickets to, but it's all under your account, you put the phone number on the account and you let them know the phone number. Each of the, one of them lets them know the phone number and they're going to get through. Of course, this was extra precautions that had to be taken because no one can have nice things anymore. Everyone has to be doing something negative on this side. And that's what they had to do on this one. This is an overview of something that's happening here. Uh, Twitch support, personal artist, roommate, Zila, Zila Fai. I started streaming. They did character references for them. And because uh didn't have any any nipples or genitalia, any of that kind of stuff, it was a Barbie doll. It was the Barbie doll style. But still, because it had something that appeared to be that, something that appeared to be nudity, appeared to be all that kind of stuff, it affected TOS. And of course, it is affecting them. Even permit other potentially, you know, things like, you know, body painting and other things like that for the platform for educational purposes. Would not... Are, would you not argue the majority of the artists are doing it also for, for those type of purposes? But I guess since it is closer to, I don't know, it's very weird. The, 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 honestly, the Twitch rules are kind of strange. But yeah, they're really strict on the drawing parts and actually showing things, you know, actual butts, actual things like that. We're cool with changing TOS. They change it all the time. Why? Not necessarily because Twitch wants to. A lot of times the advertisers, large ones like Visa or, you know, any other large advertisers that want to be more family friendly will tell their people, you know, you have to do this. You have to change this. If not, then we're no longer going to be there with you. We're no longer going to do these things for you. And uh, Twitch wants the money just like YouTube does. And YouTube does the same thing. And the actual nudity is deliberately featuring someone that exposes the nude, uh, section, the, the actual uh, suggestive stuff, uh, uploading profile page that does suggestive stuff. And also they rejected the uh, appeal, unfortunately. Unfortunately, they rejected the appeal too. So that's another issue that they have to go through. The Gyaru cast is one that I like. The, these are Gyaru's that are actually very fun. Gyaru's that don't try to be overtly sexual. Gyaru's that don't um, actually, you know, negatively try to affect other VTubers. They just stay in their own lane. They enjoy themselves. They don't make any, any commentary on anyone else. They just let anyone else be around there. You know, they have their own opinions, which everyone does, uh, but they don't make Google Docs or anything like that. So that's that's a, a good thing on their end. That's what got me liking this Gyaru podcast. They also had uh, two strikes for community guidelines. Uh, content was removed due to violation of community guidelines. There are still 14 days left. And they had the new, the, the strike was on weirdest, weirdest tags. And they had nudity apparently on it. At least that's what they were being claimed. And now they have it removed. So they had their YouTube channel removed for three strikes, whatever it is, three strikes, you're out, that type of thing. And uh, that is never good. That is never fun. That is never something that I would recommend, that I would want for another creator. Because, I mean, YouTube, YouTube is fun. Content creation is fun. All these things are are very fun. It is not unheard of for you know you to fall foul of YouTube guidelines, but I hope that they get their stuff back. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys, and I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.